is the way we run our, 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 our power play, it looks like a power sweep to an uneducated coach. And a lot of times you hear they're running the sweep play, they're running the sweep play, and then the other thing you'll hear is great job turning that sweep play inside. Well, we want the play to go inside. But to the uneducated coach, he doesn't understand that. So what happens is we're running this play inside, 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 and we're, ch- we're hitting them for 9, 10 yards a carry. Well, the coach thinks that this is a sweep play, so he throws an extra defender in the box. So now you've got four guys here and four guys here because he doesn't want to get beat outside. Well, if you've got four guys in the perimeter here and four guys in the perimeter here, that only leaves three guys here. So where should we go? The obvious answer is we should go wedge or trap or we should throw the ball because that means that means vertically, if they don't have a safety, which sometimes you'll see, we should be attacking the vertical field. Or if they go four and four, we should be beating up with the wedge. Something to always remember, most youth defenses are geared to stop the sweep because the sweep at the youth level is the home run play. You know, we're, we're not the NFL, we're not the college, we're not the college level. You know, the big vertical pass is not what these kids are real good at. But you give a, you give a fast tailback, the ball, pitch it to him, and, and get any sort of effective blocking, you can run sweep all day on, on defenses that aren't sound and don't have sound uh, containment and sound pursuit techniques.